Hi, so I recently bought this that I love so much. It is a edit journal where you can write all the books that you've read and you can do like a book review um, and fill out your ratings of it. It asks you like guided questions to remember. So I am going to try answering or reading the answer that I wrote for Small Great Things um, by, the, by Jody Nichols. I don't know if that's how you say it. Let me know in the comments below if I said it right or wrong. Uh, it came out in 2016. Um, the overall rating I gave it was 5 out of 5. Um, I would recommend this book to everyone. Uh, because it has such an important message about talking about race. Uh, something that we all are uncomfortable about talking about, but so important to talk about. Um, the book is about a uh, nurse. Um, gosh, and I can't think of her name. Who is black and she helps because uh, she's on the delivery ward um with the child of white supremacists um they do not want her on the case and something happens to the child and she has to go to court she her license is suspended um it's a really good read and so, my overall comments about it, um, this book made me so angry, it brought back some old traumas, it made me cry, as you can see in my emotions right now, um, wanted me, I wanted to throw my book across my room so many times, um, but it also want me, it made me want to say, Yes, and all the snaps to this because we need to talk more about race in society and we can't continue to brush it under the rug. Um, my favorite character uh, was Kennedy, who was a lawyer, um, who was white, and I loved reading about her journey and about how she started to see the privileges that were afforded to her um, and how she contributed to racism. Because I think with a lot of us, we think that if we don't say racist comments, we are not, but we don't realize our privilege. Um, Did I have a least favorite character? Uh, no. There were certainly characters that I became angry with. Um, but I felt that for the narrative to be told and to be impactful, we needed all of these different voices um, for the message to come through. Um, my favorite parts of the book, I had many. Uh, whenever Ruth, that was her name, the nurse's name, uh, would help Kennedy to see her privilege and racism. Um, Kennedy's closing speech, and when Ruth was finally able to speak her truth, because a lot of marginalized communities do not get that. Um, I don't think I said the most about folks. Uh, there were some really powerful ones. Um, what did you learn from this book? Uh, how much we need to have more conversations about privilege, racism, and race. Um, what parts were relatable to you on a personal, personal level? Um, microaggressions and brushing aside what they said and how it made me feel. Um, and being seen for the color of my skin, uh, 
think a lot of marginalized communities will identify with that. Um, can you take anything from the book to apply to your life going forward? That a lot, actually, and um, making sure I'm a part of these conversations and that I don't shy away from them, uh, especially as I'm going on my journey to be a therapist and advocate for, for people, especially marginalized communities, uh, and also an advocate for myself. Gosh, I feel like the videos that I've been making lately are very emotionally heavy. Um, so I'm sorry for that, but also I'm not sorry because go read these books <laughs> and then have a conversation. Um, I'd love to start a conversation on the comments below. So if you have any thoughts about any of the topics, let me know. Thanks for watching.